Now, at noon, for the first time in nearly two years, many Massachusetts students are sitting in classrooms unmasked. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Paula Evans. Statewide school masking requirements have been lifted, and so the rules are now up to individual school districts. WBZ's Louisa Moeller is live in Brockton for us this noontime. And Louisa, we know some students will still choose to keep their faces covered. Absolutely, Paula, but as you said, for the first time since the pandemic began, some districts are finally taking their masks off. Others are delaying the option, still others have pushed the option to at least mid-March. Masks won't be enforced tomorrow, because the state rescinded by tomorrow. Swansea's Joseph Case High School students and staff saying in a new state policy, masks are no longer mandated in Massachusetts schools. We were stuck with a year, severe and lonely. And Case High seized on the opportunity for some satire and celebration. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we options tomorrow. Our faces are to end masking comes as COVID cases wane across the country, but also on the heels of February school break. Tufts Medical Center epidemiologist Dr. Shira Darone says high vaccination rates and high natural immunity should protect kids. So we have a huge swath of our population well protected against severe disease. But as kids return to class in Brockton, some parents still seemed uneasy about the change. I'm not fully supportive of that considering the high population at Brockton High. I have a baby at home. He can get a vaccine, you know. The Greater Fall River Vocational School District wants to make sure cases don't rise after break there, holding off on making masks optional until March 14th. We generally tend to see uh, almost a doubling uh, of absences, student and staff. Now, in a memo announcing the end of the mask mandate in early February by the commissioner of, of um, the Department of Early and Secondary Education, the commissioner said that anyone who continues to wear a mask in school should be supported, and he strongly recommended that masks stay on for anyone who's unvaccinated. Live in Brockton, Louisa Moeller, WBC News. Louisa, thank